In this video, we're going to show how polynomial equations can help us solve some pretty basic word problems. So here we have a rectangular piece of cardboard, and it measures 16 inches by 10 inches. Let me label that while I remember to do that. Okay, so I'm going to make this side 16 inches, this side 10 inches. And we would like to turn it into a box. So we decide to cut a square off of each corner. There are those squares. And then fold up the sides. So see how this can then fold up, and this could then fold up, and this could fold up, and this could fold, fold up. And then we'd have a box with four sides. I guess it wouldn't have a cover, but it would still be a box to hold things. I want to know what size square should you cut off if you want to maximize the volume of the box. All right. So if I am looking for the size of the square, well, it would make sense to label the side of the square x. And both of those would be x. And in fact, all of them would be x. We want them to be the same size square. Perfect. So now let's think about this, the volume of a box. So remember that the volume of a rectangular box would be length times width times height. So it looks like our length is 16, but it's actually not 16 because we're going to be cutting off an x here and an x here. So really, we're left with just this side right here, which would be 16 minus 2x. And then a similar idea for this side this would be 10 minus 2x. So we have our length, 16 minus 2x. That entire binomial is going to be multiplied by another binomial, the 10 minus 2x for our width. And then this one you have to kind of think hard about. If you were to fold up the side so that it looked like a box, I'm just going to draw the box here. Right, there's our box. Here's our 16 minus 2x and our 10 minus 2x. What would this be? That would be the x though, uh, sorry, the, the square that we just cut out, these two sides here meeting together. So I say that the height of our box is x. So the volume is 16 minus 2x times 10 minus 2x times x. And we want to find the maximum. So I would use my calculator to find this maximum. So now let's go to the calculator. All right, so I'm going to type in the function just the way it looks right now. So parentheses 16 minus 2x times 10 minus 2x times x. Now I'm going to check out the standard window, and you'll notice that we don't see a lot of the graph here. So I'm going to restrict that window so that we only see the parts that we want to see. So x is the size of the square. So x can't be negative, so let's just cut the x min down to zero. Take a look, see how that, okay, a little bit better maybe. And it looks like we're going to have a max up here. And remember, that's the only part we care about. So I'm going to make my y max 100, just to see how that looks. Oh, looks better, but not enough. Let's try 200 for the y max. Perfect. I'm looking for this part right here. Here we go, second trace maximum. Finding that max. There's my left bound, my right bound, and I'm going to guess as close as I can. And I just got a maximum at, let's see, that rounds off to 2, and a y value of 144. So remember, this is our x, or the size of the square. Our y is really our volume. So now let's answer the question. What size square should you cut off if you want to maximize the volume of the box? 
what size is the square? Well, the square would be a 2 inch by 2 inch square. If the question said, what was the maximum value of the box? The maximum value would be 144 inches cubed. Why don't you try one on your own? 